Hi guys, today I'm making a video uh, reviewing the Arai XD4 helmet. It's one of my best uh, and favorite helmets, especially for adventure riding. Show you all the cool features and, uh, of it, in case you're interested in getting in one. All right, this is the review of the Arai XD4. This is the black silver frost one. Um, it comes, this one comes in four colors. It comes in the gray and black, the one you see in front of you, uh, white and blue, and the metallic red and black. It's got a few features. The um, helmet shape is intermediate oval. Uh, it weighs 3.66 pounds. So it's not a very uh, heavy helmet. It's a nice light helmet. It's made uh, for adventure riding and for um, adventure bikes. Um, it's got removable cheek pads and you can take layers off to make it fit your face even better. It's got the two hair vents in the front. It's got the two on the sides and the one in the front. So you got a uh, closure in the front and one on the inside, which I'll show you. Then on the top, you have two brow vents, or I mean two air vents on the top of your head. And then on the inside, you have the two brow vents, which are pretty cool, especially in the humid weather. And then you have the two exhaust ports up at the top. You can open and close them. And you can halfway open them, open them all the way, or close them all the way. A lot of cool features on this helmet. A uh, cool, cool feature is that the peak, you can remove and just use it. It would look like a regular street helmet, which is pretty cool especially if you don't want the peak on you, if you're riding a, like a sport bike or a naked bike. Um, this, like I said, the um, cheek pads are removable, the headline is removable, and the uh, um, neck guard is removable. So it's all, you can wash them in the washer, just don't put them in the dryer because then they'll shrink. Super easy to pull the um, cheek pads out. They come. The cheek pads come in and out uh, pretty easy. They just snap in place with one snap in the, in the rear and one in the back in the front. Um, it's got a fully removable comfort headliner, chin straps, and the cheek pads. Um, dry cool technology keeps you dry and cool for greater comfort. Um, the chin vent with more than two intake ports. It's uh, DOT and Snell. 2020 approved <clears throat> yeah right now it's got the black tint visor with it which is the fog resistant one so i don't know if you can see really well you can see the little line in there it comes already um with the fog uh decal in it from the factory so it doesn't fog up i went with this one because the original black one the black tint that i had was fogging up too much this one and there's no pin lock to insert on the inside of it so and it comes in the visors come in three different colors which is clear uh, light smoke and dark smoke and then they have the same thing for without the fog the foggy inside all three colors um, like I said it's a really great helmet especially for adventure riders especially with the big windscreen in the front. Um, also on the interior, you have another closure. So you can close the front and, and the inside, and then you get less airflow in there. It's good for cold weather. Uh, this one I actually have uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold connected to it. Uh, talk. Yeah, the Cardo um, is a Bluetooth uh, connectivity unit, which is awesome. It's a, a lot of it's voice activated, which makes great for hands-free riding. I love that feature about the Pack Talk. I actually have a Cena S20 on my uh, other Arai helmet, and I prefer the Cardo Pack Talk Bold to the Cena. I, I mean, I still haven't tested the new Cena that came out, but the Cardo Pack Talk Bold is really uh, hands-free. In case you're interested, I. I like the all the features with the um, radio stations 
and especially hands-free answering. That's one of the good features about it. Uh, you can take out the cheek pads. Here, that click. That's the one click, and the other one's in the back. You can always remove this cover, and it's, you can see the speakers. And here's the dual density layers you can remove in case you want to, but it fits me perfect, so I don't really have to remove anything. And then what you do is you slide it front, the rear end first, and the front, and your cheek pads inserted again. There you go. I usually keep the visor crack open when I'm riding. It makes it a lot easier, especially with humidity and a big windscreen. In case you have an adventure bike, you can't move it on the fly. But there you go, there's a review of the Rai XC4. Uh, I hope this helps in case you were thinking of making a purchase. It comes in a lot of colors. It comes in, in plain colors too. Just gotta check the websites and see uh, what colors it comes with. And there's your snow approval. Hey guys, just a quick video <clears throat> on the bike uh, with the helmet on, give you some insight of what it's like when it's on. Uh, basically when it's on my head, uh, this, this Arai XD4 helmet, it feels like you're not wearing anything at all. Like, it's just so super light, like I, I enjoy the air quality that goes through it and the, the lightness of the helmet and it's a really strong carbonate uh, helmet. Um, I, I can hear the speakers on my Bluetooth system perfectly and I can talk and have all my vents open and it's great and the airflow is still really good so a lot of the, no the road noise doesn't come into the helmet. Um, I used to have the Icon variant, um, the red and black one and that helmet I thought was okay for the time when I had it um, until I got this awry. Um, it is a big price difference. It's a seven hundred and thirty-nine dollar helmet compared to an Icon variant, which is what, like three forty, three twenty. Um, I got rid of the Icon variant because when I got my Bluetooth system, the Cardo, it did. It had no um, holes for the speakers, so it's like when I inserted the Cardo Bluetooth system in it. Just a little info for you in case you are deciding or looking for an ADV helmet. The Icon variant doesn't have uh, speaker holes in it unless you're actually going to make your own holes into the Icon variant uh, styrofoam inside the helmet. So once I put the uh, Cardo Bluetooth system in there, I just could not. It was unbearable. It just was pinching my ears. It, it was very uncomfortable and I just hated riding with it. So I decided to sell it and I took the a big bite and spent the $739 on the Arai XT4 and now the day goes by that I don't regret it. I love that hel this helmet. Um, the only other thing that I did was, like I said in the video, um, I did go with an anti-fog um, screen. So I hope this helps. Alright, thanks for watching my video guys. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I got a lot more videos coming. Uh, hope you like it. Thanks.